Let's look at two example situations. One uses the recap strategies well, and one doesn't. After each example, there'll be a chance to pause and reflect on what worked and what didn't. And then we'll review these points with our expert, Professor Nancy Bahana. In the following clip, watch how Debbie helps Stanley to get ready for breakfast. In particular, watch how she does in terms of providing the opportunity to practice, having a permanent place for things, breaking the task into simple steps, and focusing his attention. Can I get you to wash your hands before breakfast? Sure. Here's the soap in a dish. You might want to put some water on that. Pop your hands under the water. Should I put the soap back in the dish for you? You might want to rinse your hands off. So this is a normal, everyday task, and Debbie was successful in helping Stanley to complete it. She used some strategies to help. You may have noticed that there was a permanent place for the soap in its soap dish. Use the soap in its dish. Debbie provided simple, step-by-step -step instructions and prompts in a natural, conversational way. Pop your hands under the water. Should I put the soap back in the dish for you? You might want to rinse your hands off. She also focused Stanley's attention by bringing important objects within his line of sight. Here we go. Finally, Debbie gave Stanley plenty of time to complete each step and resisted the temptation to jump in and take over. In the following clip, you'll see Katrina help Ivy to brush her teeth. See how well she goes in using a permanent place for objects, breaking the task into simple steps and allowing practice. Okay, Ivy, time to brush your teeth. You get the toothpaste on your toothbrush and get started. Well, I quickly get a clean towel for you. Have you finished that yet? Oh no, you haven't even started. Come on, I'll do it for you. There you go, Ivy. It'll be quicker if I brush them for you today. Oh, don't be silly. Look this way. I can't do this for you if you don't cooperate. You may have noticed that Ivy was reaching for her toothbrush in its permanent home. Katrina had interrupted this routine by moving the toothbrush. Katrina didn't break the task down into simple steps for Ivy. And then when Ivy couldn't start herself off, Katrina took over and didn't give Ivy the opportunity to practice this skill. Oh no, you haven't even started. Come on, I'll do it for you. Katrina could have given some simple instructions or perhaps some verbal reminders to help Ivy start and then complete this routine task for herself. 
This may have avoided Ivy's later agitation. Oh, don't be silly. Look this way. I can't do this for you if you don't cooperate. This brings us to the end of our RECAPS presentation. We hope that the RECAPS strategies will help you help people with dementia maintain their skills for as long as possible. Mm -hmm.